Hello. Hi. Hello, team. No, no, wait. I need to stop this vlog. Who am I? Was it April? Yes, we're in May now. I love these so much. Hello, team. My name is Monique. Welcome back to the cauldron. It is Tuesday, which means that I have once more been quested with making yet another vlog. And by quest, I mean I want to do it. In case you didn't know, this is Book of Choose, my channel, and I have, a, for the last year, been making reading vlogs because I can. And also, it's Tuesday, so obviously it's time to start a new one. I am currently reading two books. I shouldn't be because I can't really figure that out, but that is what we are doing. So I started last Saturday, the ones we went to find by Joan He. I am about 22% into it. And uh, this is a sci-fi dystopian novel where we are following two sisters. We are following a young woman who has woken up on this isolated island with no recollection of how she got there. All she knows is that her sister is waiting for her somewhere. Then we are also following her sister who is living in one of humanity's last attempts to save themselves, which is one of these floating cities where people do not really interact in real life with each other anymore to save resources. And this sister is sort of also trying to figure out where her lost sister has gone. So I'm enjoying it. I'm not crazy about it yet, but that could be because I'm only 22% in, which then obviously meant that I just sort of put it aside. And if you watched last week's vlog, you know that I put it aside for the House of Always, which was absolutely magnificent. And then I picked up Bloody Rose by Nicholas Ames, which was actually a book on my April TBR. Was it April? Yes, we're in May now. It was the sequel to Kings of the Wild, which is a epic fantasy sort of saga where we are following bands in this fantasy world and by band I mean both almost like a musical band but I also mean like D&D &D characters and they sort of travel and haunt monsters and are like famous in fancy ways and, and in this sequel we are following the band of Bloody Rose who was actually the daughter of one of the band members of our first book which I absolutely adored. I'm very interested in this one. It has quite a lot of queer characters, which we know I'm always here for. Lots of humour, lots of banter. I am about 300 pages since I have 200 pages left. People say that this is heartbreaking, but they also said that the Song of Achilles was heartbreaking and I didn't really feel that much about that one, but I did actually share a tear about Kings of the Wild, so I am hoping that I will also love this one. So those are the two books that I am currently reading. I have quite a lot of arcs on my TBR this month, so I actually really need to get going. But things are just slow moving this week, so we're hoping it'll pick up. Also, I got some book mail. This is The Bone Maker by Sarah Beth Durst, which is her new standalone fantasy. I believe in this one we are following a group of characters. However, it is set in the aftermath of the sort of a big fight between good and evil. But not immediately after. We are set 25 years after they sort of gave up everything to defeat the great evil one of them also gave up their lives and that means that the group leader Kreia is now living in this remote tower trying to resurrect her dead husband however she can only do this with human bones but human bones and that sort of magic is very much looked down upon uh, aka it is illegal in this fantasy world and the only place that she knows that she can find these bones is on the old battlefield where they sort of took their stance against the evil but things are lurking old evils may be coming back i absolutely love sarah beth durst at least i adore her adult fantasy um i did also read the fire and heist which is like a ya sort of um yeah heist novel but with dragon shifters However, what I really, really, really adore is her Queen of Renfia series, which is an adult fantasy series that I feel like do not get nearly enough attention. I know there are many, many books out in the world that deserve attention, but this one really does if you want some adult fantasy that's really intricate, that looks at the like human experience and good and evil, and I absolutely adore it. Just, I'm just so pumped for reading this one. I also have her other, I believe, which is like an NA, like a new adult, another fantasy standalone called Raise the Sands. I've been waiting for it for a while. I don't know where it is. But this is here and I'm very excited and I actually sort of want to put everything else on the side and just read this one. So that's the, it's good and bad, all in all. But yeah, that is the uh, first update of the week. I hope you guys are okay. I'll speak to you guys possibly tomorrow. Good 
evening team it is thursday yes and i was a right grump yesterday and had a massive migraine so no update for you which means that did i update on tuesday did i finish this book on tuesday i haven't technically given a proper reading update but i did finish bloody rose on the afternoon of Tuesday time, basically. And I enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed some of the characters, but it just did not catch my heart in the same way that Kings of the Wild did, which I'm very surprised about because it has like more queers. It has a lot of women. It has bloody fucking Rose who was like a machine and her and Free Cloud are just like, Mm, goodness but yeah no this ended up just being a four star for me which i'm actually a little bit sad about but i am excited about hopefully nicholas aim writing another five star in this series for me i know that there is at least a third book coming out at one point so yeah very excited about this one it did really make me want to sort of reread kings of the wild though because clay cooper just you know has my whole heart there was one point that hurt my heart a bit though but I didn't quite cry, so, you know. But yeah, so I am then currently reading, still, The Ones Were Meant to Find by Joan He. And I am just not excited about it. Like the writing is beautiful. It is a beautifully written book. And I don't know if it's because I'm just reading it on ebook and I just can't be bothered currently with ebooks, which is not good because I have a lot of e arcs to do. Or if it's because there's so many other arcs right now that I really want to read. And part of me is like, I should just DNF it. I should not just force myself to read it, but I do want to read it. I'm about 71% in, so I have 30% left. And I'm just hoping that I can just sort of power through it tonight and just just read it and just finish it so that I can read something else which I'm sad about also part of me literally just wants to leave my TBR behind and read something else completely even though I'm excited about parts of my TBR most of my TBR actually I'm excited about my TBR I just I don't want to right now I just want to read what I want to read so there is that but that's the update for today I hope you guys are okay and I will most likely check in tomorrow or Saturday. Who knows? No one knows. Hi. Hello, team. It is Friday and it is after work. Yay. However, I thought I would come in with a quick little uh, reading update. Um, I did finish The Ones We're Meant to Find this morning, finally. And I'm sad to say that it just didn't quite... I even say that it's because it didn't meet my expectations, but I guess I was just waiting for something more. And though it is beautifully written, it just dragged for me. And it might literally just have been because it wasn't the book for me right now. But yeah, it just sort of nothing it did nothing for me. So it's like a three star, probably more like a two and a half. But then I also have to admit the fact that the writing was beautiful and there is definitely some very quotable instances in there and it is an exciting premise and even like the ending is good I don't know why I didn't like it more like I'm surprised by myself and it is weird and sci-fi and like environmental and fancy and I don't know why I didn't like it but I just wasn't crazy about it part of me is like maybe I should buy it and read it again because also the cover is stunning but anyway that is over now first book off of my tbr how wonderful then i started all our hidden gifts by caroline o'donoghue at least that's the name that i think it is and this one is another e arc from net Kelly. i'm not sure if it comes out on the 26th of may or the 1st of july it has different dates wherever i look but I was like, I've actually really wanted to read The Jasmine Throne or For the Wolf, but this is a book that is actually coming out sooner. So I was like, no, I should read it. It's witchy. It's sort of magical realism. It's on my TBR. Please read your TBR. And I'm just flying through it. It's so good. It's so teenagey, but terror-y. And basically we are following Maeve, who is very unpopular in school. She lost contact with her best friend more than a year ago. However, suddenly in detention, she finds these tarot cards and it makes her more popular until she does a reading for the best friend that she used to have, Lily, and then Lily disappears two days later. So now she is on sort of this path to try and find Lily again, 
with a new friend called Fiona and um, Lily's uh, gender non-binary sibling called Ro. And it's just queer and nice and weird and funny and I'm just really, yeah, really, really enjoying it. I love the US cover and I love the UK cover as well. And I'm just very excited about the fact that I started reading it. I think I'm about halfway maybe a little bit less but yeah excited about reading that one and then hopefully yeah getting everything rolling again so yeah it's friday now i'm most likely gonna go for a walk with girlfriend and then we'll see what we do for the rest of the day i'll check in with you guys tomorrow bye Saturday and it is after my volunteering shift so I have a little bit of a tiny haul to show you guys which I meant to not have okay I went in we haven't gotten a whole lot of fantasy in the last couple of weeks and I've just sort of been like okay well I need to like cut down on just randomly buying books even when they're super cheap so I technically did not pay for these because they weren't going to get sold but this is a full set of the Narnia Chronicles by C.S. Lewis. These are very very old editions. I can't quite figure out if they're like a first edition or not. I wouldn't think so but they are funky and I have never actually read the full Narnia Chronicles so I would like to do so. It starts with the Magician's Nephew, look at these funky covers. Then we obviously have The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. And we have The Horse and His Boy, Prince Caspian, Voyage of the Dawn Treader, The Silver Chair and The Last Battle. So yeah, this is just like a funky little one and it wasn't gonna get sold. So um, my boss downstairs just, um, just sent me home with them. And I think that they are quite funky, so. There is that. And then, yes, then I didn't mean to buy anything else. And then I did because they were 50% off and I have been staring at them since we got them pretty much. So these are Moomin books by Toad Johansson. And in case you did not know, so the Moomins are these sort of I get, like fantastical creatures. They're a little bit, they look a little bit like bears. They also don't look like bears. They're like a children's uh, series that was very popular in Scandinavia. So like Norway, Sweden and Denmark because Tove Johansson is a, I believe a Swedish author. Is she a Swedish author or is she from Finland? She is from Finland. But this is the first one. This is Comet in Moominland. And these are these just really beautiful little hard covers with illustrations in them. And they're just like little stories of Moomin Valley. And I just, I love them a lot. I've been meaning to sort of gather them very slowly, but we did have five of them. And these and then and I wanted them because they were half price. So even though I'm technically on a buying ban, which we all know is just pretty much out of the window right now. So then after the comet in Moomin Valley, we have a Finn family Moomin Troll. Cute. Then we have Moomin Land Midwinter. We have Tales from Moomin Valley. And then we have Moomin Papa at Sea. And all of these have illustrations inside and have a cute little illustrations on it. I love these so much. Ugh. And I know I wasn't meant to buy them, but I did. And I won't even feel sorry for it because look at these illustrations, team. These brings me a lot of joy. And I am going to read them because yay. I used to watch, so there was a small TV series when I was little in Denmark and I watched it all the time and my granddad read these books to me and it's just yeah a lot of a lot of yes love and affection for these there are a few more that i need to find somewhere look they even have a little this book belongs to is so cute and the, yeah the first one is written in 1946 so quite a long time 
ahead of obviously <laughs> look at that little moomin oh it's so cute yes um i will buy whatever i want whenever i want to because that is who i am and i am an adult and i can spend my very own money there is that but anyway let us go on to a reading update um yesterday me and girlfriend ended up going for a very long walk which turned into a sort of like date night and we went mini golfing which was really fun and then we had a rooftop drink which was also really nice things seems to be going more back to normal in the uk as we speak so that hopefully means that i can very soon fly back to see my family and meet my niece that would be lovely but yeah reading update that was what i was doing um i did finish uh, all our hidden gifts by caroline o'donoghue this morning and i really really loved this one it really surprised me i don't know why it's super ya however it also deals with some tough, tough some tough subjects such as like bullying as harassment um gay bashing as well and it's just it's just really wonderful it has a lot of tarot information and just general like soft rep we have a uh, non-binary character we have a lesbian character we have a filipino rep as well which i did look up some own voices reviews for and it seems like it's good filipino rep so yeah no i really really enjoyed this one i'll definitely have to buy it once it comes out which i'm still not sure when it is because goodreads says one thing and then like NetGalley says another. So at one point I will get this book. I really, really love both covers and part of me really wants both. And I'm like, I don't need both, but I but I might want both. I don't know if this is gonna turn into a series. I sort of hope so. Uh, Kellen O'Donoghue is also an Irish author. So I'm excited about that. And yeah, no, I really, really enjoyed this one. So that's technically two arcs off of my um, TBR for this month already, yay me. Then, um, as usual, yes, I went down and did the uh, volunteering shift and I uh, decided to start Furthermore by Tahira Mafi, um, which is a middle grade book where we're following Alice, who is born in this world where color equals magic. However, she is born with no color. Her skin is very white. Her hair is the color of milk. And that sort of means that she does not fit in whatsoever. However, one day she may have to leave um the place that she was born behind to go and find her father and it is just like Tahira Murphy writes really really beautifully um I'm absolutely adoring this currently like it's really really cute like Alice eats flowers which is adorable and I've also heard that there is um a second book I don't believe it's with the same characters but one that I really want to read because it has some beautiful Muslim rep at least I think so. But yeah, no, actually really enjoying this. Hoping that I can sort of um, read it quite fast since it is a uh, middle grade novel and it also has these like illustrations in between chapters, which is kind of cute. Um, so yeah, so this is what we're reading currently. And then um, I really got to take some book pictures. I need to do some more filming. Uh, girlfriend has gone home for the day and um yeah so it'll just be me all alone chilling about This will literally be the fastest ending to a vlog I think I've ever done. Hi, it's now Monday, which means, yes, end time for this vlog. However, I don't really have a reading update. I didn't do any further reading yesterday, which means that I am still about 130 pages into Furthermore by Tahira Mafi. I did really enjoy it. I think I've explained that, so I'm not going to go any further to it. But yeah, so um, I actually had a pretty good reading week so far. I just sort of trucked along yesterday. I watched a whole lot of Castle because I sort of stopped my rewatch of Bones. 
because I wanted to watch Castle. So that's what we're spending our time doing now. And then um, that's it. I hope you guys have had a wonderful week. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Hit subscribe button at the same time so you don't miss out on any other videos from me. You can also click the little bell which gives you a notification when I put up a new video, which I do with regularity. So this should come as no surprise. If you would like to check out my other vlogs, I will leave a link to the video list down below. And then you can find all of my other social media in the little box underneath me yes but anyway i hope you guys are having a wonderful time i hope this video finds you well and remember that i am proud of you you're doing great i'll see you guys next time with another video bye